Hi there, it's Paul Taylor, and today I just wanted to share with you how to list items on Amazon eBay, and it's one of the questions I most get often asked. And um, it's a pretty simple process, really. There are a few things you can get caught out on, which I definitely did in the, in the first few months of uh, doing this stuff regularly. And um, I've got a couple of examples of items here. So I'm gonna show you through these now. So you should be able to see the screen up here on my phone. Now it's very easy, like a lot of people say, how do you know the value of stuff when you're buying it? You literally just scan this thing. There's a scanner on the Amazon app and the eBay app, and uh, both are pretty quick. So for example here, there's a barcode on the side. I scan this. This is a sort of scales, and uh, it comes up at 39.49 on Amazon. And you then click through to the next one, because there's a couple of variations. And you can see this here, and then the top one there is ranked 79,363. Now, you do have to take in consideration the ranking of these items because the lower the rank, as in the higher the number, the closer to a million, the longer it's gonna to take to sell. So generally, I'll try and get in the top 100,000 for most items, just so they know that they would turn over very quickly. But this one here is 79,000. I then literally click sell. Condition is new, it's new in box. Click on that, and then there's two options. I will ship the item myself, or Amazon will dispatch and provide a customer service. Now, we're doing fulfillment by Amazon. It's the most passive, it's the easiest solution that I prefer. So we literally ship it to them, and then they will sell uh, and send it on your behalf. So I click on match the price. So the best price online is $39.99. I'm matching that myself and then continue, and then literally submit listing, and then that's done, that's listed now. <coughs> I know that's $39.99, if, if I'm at a car boot sale or a shop and I see this, I would literally list the item, see that yes, I can list it, it's not restricted for me, I can get $39.99, then I'll know how much I, I can pay. So that's one item. Something like this could get you can get caught out on now, this scans, so I'll scan this item here. This is um, creatine caplets, pre-workout for, for using in the gym. Now this is ranked fairly well, so I think, great, this is good. It's 70,000 ranked, 16.99. But if I just looked at this one screen, I'd probably pick these up and then make a mistake because it's not until you go to the next screen that you can see this is a restricted product. You have to get de-restricted. I cannot sell this product um, in any of the following conditions, so you can see on the screen here. So that I would probably steer clear of. Actually, I've bought these and sell these on eBay. They go for about 10 pounds each, but on Amazon they're 17. So you can either try and go through the process of getting de-restricted or you just stay away from that sort of thing. Another one here is heating controls. <clears throat> now these are ones I often buy. These, I bought a, a job lot of 30 for, I think it was 80 pounds. So we're in for just under three pounds each. So if you look at this one here, I'll scan it again and there's two listings here one's at 40 pounds one's at 50 pounds the ranking's a lot lower on the 40 pound one obviously so i'm going to try and list that so if i hit sell again condition new now you have to be really realistic on these conditions because amazon will often send stuff back if there's a slightly tatty box now this is probably on the limit this here is obviously not going to pass as new um, but you do have the option to use, uh, put use like new. Um, that's normally what I do, or collectible, uh, just to try and get these onto Amazon and sell these as um, via FBA. But generally with stuff like this, I'd stick onto eBay and sell separately. So looking into the items, so I then go into my inventory and I should see these items that have just come on. So I've got the scales there. And if I click on the scales, and then scroll down, as, a, as I say, the profitability calculator is there. So the price this sells for is $39.99. I paid 14 pounds on these, so I would stick 14 pounds in, and it's always gonna cost you money to send into Amazon. Now Amazon is five pounds 11 to send 15 kilo mixed box. So let's just assume each item is gonna be around 50p. So we put cost of dispatch into Amazon is 50p. So then it estimates all my fees. Now the fees to sell this is £8.45, which is just over 20%. So it's, it's a fairly hefty fee, 
but you don't have to do any of the work. You don't have to go to the post office, you don't have to ship it. So with the 14 pounds spent and the, all the Amazon fees, I should return 17 pounds 4p on this one. So more than doubling my money, I would definitely be picking those up. So another example of these heating controls is inventory again. And then the Danfoss heating control is here. Now these effectively cost me less than three pounds. So if I put these in, three pounds. Now you can do this pretty quickly and work these out roughly. I mean, I try and in my head, if I haven't got time to scan it and go through the calculator, I'll make sure that the retail, that the sale price on Amazon is more than double what I'm paying for it. Then I know that um, unless it's very heavy, then I'll try and avoid it. But uh, I know there's a good chance of making good money on this. So dispatching to Amazon would be slightly less on this, but I'm gonna put 50p anyway. And the cost was about, let's say three pounds. So three pounds. So these have actually gone down a little bit since I listed them the first time. They were 40 pounds originally and they're now 32.41, but I should still return 23 pounds in profit from these items that I paid three pounds for. So you can see by looking at this stuff in advance, you can scan it while you're actually buying it and then you'll see the return. So you haven't really, you're not really taking too much risk. As long as, the seller, as long as the seller rank is really high, you know you can sell it. And uh, the only thing that may change is other people may come in and then try and push the price down. Now, that's something that's out of your control, but as long as enough margin in that, you can reduce your price as well and still make good returns. Now, si similar story to eBay, a little bit less in depth because eBay scanner isn't quite as, as good, but um, I'll click onto eBay app, and then the top right on the search bar, you'll see a little photo picture, and it says scan a barcode, and it's the same story on this. So you literally scan the barcode, comes up with a listing. Now these are a lot less on eBay, and I find that happens quite a lot, but uh, these are between 20 and 25 pounds, and you can copy a listing there, you go into the listing and say sell one like this, and that's, that's a quick one on eBay. It doesn't take as long, but Amazon's my preferred route to sell. So that's just a quick tip on how you scan, and um, we'll be doing a lot more videos like this on, the, on our YouTube channel, Taylor Entrepreneur. Please subscribe and follow. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.